Hey everybody, this is Raymond Francis, and I want to talk about the fifth generation wireless network. You know, the international rollout of 5G, fifth generation wireless network, is in progress. 5G provides faster downloads and greater connectivity and access to super high-speed internet connections. And it's going to promote everything from smart businesses to smart cities to smart highways to smart homes to self-driving cars. It sounds wonderful, but lots of scientists, including myself, are questioning the safety. 5G is rapidly rolling out without doing any safety studies. It differs from the existing cell phone networks. 5G operates at substantially higher frequencies, which we know affect human cells and tissues. And, and without any safety studies, anyone who tells you that 5G is safe, they don't know what they're talking about. Now, if we look to existing cell phone technology for reassurance, it's not very reassuring. Over 10,000 studies indicate that the existing wireless radio frequency systems are causing significant health problems, including life-threatening diseases like cancer, and heart disease, type 2 diabetes, even mental disturbances such as depression and anxiety and increased suicidal tendencies. A German study found that cancer rates more than tripled among people living within 1,200 feet of a cell phone tower. An Israeli study found that the risk of cancer quadrupled among people living within 1,100 feet of a cell phone tower. You know, other studies have found that radiation from cell phone towers damages DNA, suppresses immune function, causes miscarriage, miscarriage, big problem, and numerous other health problems. An Australian study found that children living near television and FM broadcast towers developed leukemia at three times the rate of children living miles away. Long-term cell phone users have the highest incidence of brain cancer, usually on the side of the head where they use the cell phone. Brain cancer, salivary cancer, acoustic nerve cancer, all higher risk. Children who begin using cordless or cell phones regularly before age 20 have a more than four-fold increase of brain tumor risk. Smart meters are another problem. Radiation from smart meters are known to negatively affect heart function. And reduced fertility, fertility is another problem. Cell phone uh, radiation lowers sperm count, lowers sperm quality, and lowers female fertility as well. Sperm counts have already dropped below 50% of normal in every technologically advanced country. Cell phone radiation affects the way calcium ions move in the brain. This increases intracellular calcium and may be a central mechanism in causing Alzheimer's disease. Now, the telecommunications industry says 5G is the beginning of a new era. Um, yet, there isn't a single safety study to explore the environmental and biological implications of 5G radiation. So allowing 5G technology to be used without proving its safety is just reckless. Thank you so much for listening. Please be aware of this problem. See what you can do locally to prevent it from happening.